scorching desert to frozen peaks, humid swamp and dry heat. The land of Conan exiles is a large and hostile world where only the strongest will survive. You are an exile, crucified and abandoned for crimes you may or may not have committed, until fate intervenes. Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? Your beginnings are humble and unforgiving, as you fight not only hunger and dehydration, but vicious beasts, terrible monsters, other exiles, and the environment itself. As you become stronger and better equipped, your journey will take you into the swamp, where overgrown insects and venomous arachnids roam alongside dangerous animals. While earning better equipment, you'll also be able to construct bigger and stronger fortresses to defend yourself against monsters, inhabitants of the exiled lands, other players, and the avatars of their chosen religions. Other exiles have banded together in camps and villages, where their cultural backgrounds come with knowledge of different crafts and a variety of weapons and armor. If you capture one of these craftsmen and make them your thrall, their knowledge will become your knowledge. In the eastern parts, among the ruins of Zelha, dwell the perverted Lemurians, the proud days of their race long forgotten. Through orgiastic rituals, they worship the goddess Durketo, the twin-natured lady who walks the line between lust and death. In the north, the votaries of Skelos walk the long, arduous path to the heart of the smoldering volcano to deliver their offerings to the whispering creatures of the well. The many dungeons in Conan Exiles each offer unique challenges and rewards for those brave enough to enter. But go deep enough and you'll only find madness. Surviving in the Exiled Lands is made a little easier for those with green thumbs, as cultivating the land is a new way for you to grow key ingredients for alchemical mixtures, such as potions and volatile orbs, as well as components for different foods and crafts. Your craftsmanship is a vital component to your survival, as you will have to think twice about what you wear for the different climates. From scorching desert to frozen peaks, humid swamp and dry heat, where only the strongest will survive. <laughs>